This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Michigan State head basketball coach Tom Izzo contacted a witness in a sexual assault case involving one of his players before that witness talked to police, according to a police report. The police said that the incident happened after a woman accused then-freshman Brock Washington of forcefully groping and kissing her back in August of 2017. Campus police said that MSU student Braden Smith told Coach Izzo, along with assistant coaches Mike Garland and Dwayne Stevens, and contacted him about the alleged assault and had asked him what he had seen. Smith is the son of a former Michigan State All-American, Steve Smith, and has known the coaches for years. An MSU spokesperson told ESPN that's why the University Office of Institutional Equity determined that Coach Izzo and his assistants did not violate a policy against interfering with an investigation or conducting one of their own. The August 2017 incident was the first of two sexual assault cases involving Washington. He pleaded guilty to the misdemeanor assault in the next year. Washington was accused of raping a woman in January. The Ingham County Prosecutor's Office said that they chose not to file charges, releasing the following statement to Fox 47 News. It was the consensus of a prosecution team that the case could not have been proven in court as required under the law. As the county prosecutor, ultimately, I'm the official who reports directly to the people of Bingham County. I've determined that this case does not meet the burden of proof that we must present to a jury. Hillsdale Hospital said it is in need of supplies in order to help the hospital fight against the the coronavirus. The hospital said it has received an outpouring of support from the community who has already donated personal protective equipment, covered the cost of food and drinks, and shared appreciation for the work the hospital is doing. The hospital said it needs the following items to make sure there are an adequate supply as the pandemic continues, N95 or higher health grade or constructive grade masks, night trial or latex free exam gloves in all sizes, procedure or surgery masks, single use, cloth or homemade masks for multi-use, bleach wipes, isolation gowns or surgery isolation gowns, empty pump bottles from hand sanitizers, soap, etc. To make a donation, the hospital said that individuals can come to the hospital and check in with the staff at the yellow screening tent where the items will be accepted directly or individuals will be directed to the appropriate outdoor drop-off location on site. Detroit City Council President Brenda Jones has tested positive for coronavirus. She is in isolation and working from home, according to a statement from her office. The statement said she is not experiencing any horrific symptoms associated with the coronavirus. Jones is the second prominent Detroit City official to test positive for the coronavirus after Detroit Police Chief James Craig also tested positive last week. In a time when we can't all gather around a table, we can still come together as a community. We Are Open Mid-Michigan is a partnership between Fox 47 News, WSYM-TV, and our local restaurants and businesses with one goal, getting them through this tough time. Every day, we will help shine a light on the businesses that make up our community and help to create the soul of our neighborhoods. We will tell their stories, rally around those that are keeping the grills going, the hospitals running, and the businesses operating. Fox 47 News WSYM-TV is committed to bringing you those stories and giving our local businesses a voice in our newscasts, on our website, mobile app, and social media channels. If you're a business supporting the community, we want to hear from you. Please go to fox47news.com forward slash open to submit your video or comments and let us know how your business or organization is evolving to support all of us so that we can better support you. Also, we've started a Facebook group called We're Open Mid-Michigan to support all of our Mid-Michigan businesses. From all of us here at Fox 47 News, know that we will continue to share up-to-date information regarding the coronavirus at fox47news.com forward slash coronavirus. We know that this is an unprecedented time and that you need to know what is happening to keep you and your family safe while staying connected to other news impacting the world. And we're going to continue to share this on air on our website, and on all of our social media channels. Know that we are with you through all of this. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.